We were speaking yesterday about how the regular flu right now is more deadly in the time it's taken since this virus started to spread. The regular flu, far more deadly. Yeah. But you were pointing out that at least there is a vaccine uh, that is somewhat effective with the regular flu. With this, not yet. That's right. We, we don't have a vaccine. There is a vaccine that they're, they're working on. Um, in fact, we spent some time at the NIH talking to the doctor, Dr. Fauci, who runs this particular division about that. And, and let's listen to what he had to say specifically about that. What we're doing here is we're developing a vaccine that we're going to at least put through what we call phase one. Namely, we're going to test it to see if it's safe and if it induces the kind of response that you hope would be protective. We may not take it beyond phase one. And what he's basically saying by that, Linda, is phase one is to determine if something's safe. Normally, you'd go through phase two and phase three. Sometimes you don't have that luxury. So if this thing is safe and seems to show any kind of effectiveness, they may release a vaccine like that early to try and mitigate the, the spread of this. Let me just show you one more thing, if I can, that, that gives you an idea of, of how public health officials really look at this. This box, uh, there's, there's two important points. One is how transmissible this is and how severe the illness would be. I don't know if we have this graphic, but basically the A box there would be if something doesn't transmit well and is very low in terms of severity best case scenario. Mm -hmm. As you might guess, worst case scenario is box D, mm -hmm. when suddenly something starts to spread very easily and is also very severe. A new Chinese coronavirus, a cousin of the SARS virus, has the international community on alert. Since the outbreak began in Wuhan, China in December, the number of people infected and patients who have died keeps climbing. So here's what you need to know about coronavirus. Coronaviruses are a large group of viruses common among many species of animals, including humans. In rare cases, the virus actually makes a jump from animals to humans, and even more rare, from person to person, which is what scientists believe has happened in this case. Now, typically, uh, coronavirus symptoms include a runny nose, cough, sore throat, possibly a headache, fever, which can last for several days. For those with a weakened immune system, there is a chance that the virus could cause a lower down and much more serious respiratory tract illness like pneumonia or bronchitis. There have only been two other coronaviruses that have been known to be deadly. The Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, known as MERS virus, that caused severe respiratory problems, and the CDC estimated that three out of four of every 10 patients infected with MERS had died. Another one is the Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome, or SARS. Now, that had an average death rate of around 10%, with older people being the most vulnerable. Viruses can spread from human contact with animals. Scientists think MERS, for example, started in camels, and they suspect that SARS started with civet cats. As for human-to-human -human transmission, often it happens when someone is within three feet of the infected person. And with this new virus, we don't know yet when exactly someone becomes contagious, how sick they are when they do. Depending on how virulent the virus is, a cough, a sneeze, a handshake could cause an exposure. There is no vaccine to protect against this family of viruses. There is no specific treatment for a coronavirus. Most of the time, symptoms are gonna go away on their own. Those who catch the virus are advised to do the basics, drink plenty of fluids, sleep as much as possible. Symptoms as well can be relieved by taking pain or fever medications, but if they do get worse, it's recommended to see a doctor. You could reduce the risk of infection by avoiding people who are sick, avoiding touching your eyes, nose, and mouth, and of course, washing your hands with soap and water as often as possible for at least 20 seconds. I woke up uh, feeling quite desperate, um, sad, angry. Uh, most of this is because of a lack of information and a lack of knowing what's going on. I know you've been able to be in touch with your family, your mom in particular. Is she worried? My mother's worrying about me. I love her. She's 88 years old. My sister let her know that uh, things that I'm doing here. And I don't want her to worry anymore. And I'd like to see her.
Adama, if you could get out, would you leave? Yeah, I'm torn. And quite frankly, I'm going to tell you right now, I can't leave. I won't leave. Because if I am a carrier, I'm not going to endanger anybody else. And that's just erring on the side of caution, you know, or, or whatever it is. But I've gotten to the point of sheer desperation. No one has reached out to us expats in this community. This is about getting the truth out there and getting the truth in here. I think the local government screwed up. I'm just going to put it that way. I think that the higher up government probably didn't know. And I think right now is damage control. This isn't a joke. This isn't a movie. This isn't a game. This isn't a video game. This is real life. And we need to start taking it more seriously. And we need